Hello and welcome to a new video at Fryer Pro. Today it's going to be really exciting because we're doing the ultimate Kosori comparison. I have here the top three models from Kosori and we're going to find out which air fryer has what it takes to be the ultimate front runner. You're frequently asking me in the comments which one is actually better, the Kosori Robo Blaze or the Dual Blaze. And hey, the question is truly justified. Both have innovative features and are in an exciting head-to-head -head race. Today we finally settle who has the upper hand here. In the detailed practical test, we're about to see which fryer delivers the most even results and which one packs more punch. It's getting hot, so stay tuned. You can find the product links, as always, in the video description. Be sure to check it out. Recently, the Turbo Blaze was reduced by 20%. You don't find deals like that every day. Feel free to join our Facebook group, where you won't miss any news and updates on new fryers and can exchange ideas with other air fryer enthusiasts. But enough chit chat, let's jump right in. Let's take on this task and discover the ultimate Kozori air fryer together. First, I'll briefly introduce the three candidates to you. Here we have the Kosori 5.5 liters, and I'll set the other two aside for now. This model is the absolute classic and has been a bestseller since 2019. No wonder. Costs only around 100 euros and truly offers a lot for the price. It is definitely a solid all-rounder and really easy to operate. And it has plenty of cooking space, as you're able to observe. Included with all three of the devices, we find exactly the same items. The standard paperwork and a charming recipe book with 30 recipes. Should you want more, I'll link some additional recipes in the video description. A tip from me, if you don't care about the color, I'd advise you to choose a color other than black. You can click the link below to explore more options. Some color choices are actually 5 to 10 euros cheaper compared to the classic black version. I have the blue version here. But let's get back to the device. The dimensions are practically oriented as they extend in both width and depth. I will show you the color of dark copper. This means more space in the cooking basket. So for example, a 1.5 kilo chicken fits in here easily. A small drawback with the 5.5 liter version is the handle, which sits a bit loose as you can see. In terms of processing, that's the only thing I would criticize here. Otherwise, I used to be quite a big fan of the steamer basket system, but nowadays, not anymore. It consists of two parts and just has an incredible number of cracks and crevices where the grease sticks. Over time, it becomes really annoying. However, the other baskets are quite easy. I find the operation great. With just two clicks, you start a program. You press the fries icon and start. That's really all there is to it. There's even an automatic shake reminder and a preheat function that's cleverly concealed under the icon. Only the shrill beep is a bit annoying and unfortunately can't be turned off. But don't worry, that's already been improved in the newer models. Then we have the Kosori Dual Blaze here with two heating elements. Usually a hot air fryer includes just one heating element, but this particular model has two. Once on top and once on the bottom. This is truly unique. It's meant to solve the problem of having to shake the food while it's cooking. So no more shaking and you still get consistent cooking results. Particularly with pizza, the bottom heat truly shows its benefits and works wonders. Kosori successfully introduced the fryer to the market in 2022 and today we will thoroughly explore this promise. This model currently costs a hefty 170 euros. Let's see what we get for these extra 70 euros. It holds 6, via liters, just under 1 liter more than the Kosori 5,5. That's already a difference. The operation offers 12 predefined programs. It looks more modern, but the operation doesn't appeal to me. With 12 programs, it just seems a bit overloaded. There are probably going to be some people out there who might be thinking, why am I paying 70 euros more when the fryer doesn't even come with a shake reminder feature? Well, that was intentionally omitted, because the dual blaze, as previously mentioned, heats not just from above, but also from below. So no more annoying shaking and no running to the kitchen, trying not to miss the beep. You can relax the entire cooking time. Netflix and fryer, what more could you want? And if you still want to give it a shake, the result might even turn out better. But hey, everyone can feel free to test it out and make their own decision. A minor downside with the dual blaze is the potential risk that curious little hands might accidentally touch the heating element. The risk is everywhere, of course, but it's important to keep that in mind and place the frail appliance high enough, safely out of children's reach. When it comes to processing capability, in my opinion, it is at least one step ahead of the Corsori 5.5 liter model. She gives a more robust and durable impression, but for us, 
it's only what's inside that counts. So we'll talk more about the cooking basket and how it performs in practical tests. When discussing the best air fryers from Kosori, we certainly can't leave out the Turbo Blaze. At the end of 2023, Kosori really stepped up their game by replacing the AC motor with a DC motor. With this power upgrade, the fryer manages to heat up approximately 30% quicker in comparison to the 5.5 liter Kosori model. That means we save time and the results improve because the food comes to temperature directly. Incidentally, it's also more efficient. Who would have thought? Kusori offers plenty of space with this 6-liter cooking basket, which is really practical. Currently, it is priced at 150 euros, right in the middle of the two other fryers. Remains to be seen how it performs. Meanwhile, let's talk about the operation. And I'm not just commenting on how clearly and beautifully colorful it is, but also on everything it is capable of doing. We have the ability here to modify or save programs and even mute the sound. By the way, the beep is really pleasant and not shrill at all. Finally, something nice for the ears. The standout feature here is definitely the adjustable fan. You have the ability to regulate the fan's intensity in up to five different levels. They are displayed there. Now it goes to level one. In the first level, it is really barely audible. You can't hear anything, so I can continue speaking undisturbed. It's perfect for drying food over several hours without it becoming an annoyance. You can watch Netflix in peace without the fryer putting on a concert in the background. Before we dive into the cooking baskets, let's first check the exterior dimensions. I'm sure some of you are interested in that, so I'll grab the tape measure and measure. Let's make it a height of 32 centimeters. In this spot, it's 35. And over here, it's 30. Let's go ahead and measure the width. Right here, it's 28. 27.5 and 27. So approximately all the same. And once more, let's check the depth. Here, I'm measuring the cable holder at the back and the handle at the front. Then we're roughly at 40 centimeters. We should manage with 38 or 39 here, if I estimate that correctly. And approximately 42 here. They're all pretty similar in size, with the turbo blaze being just a little smaller, as you can clearly see. Otherwise, they're all in the same range. Now let's compare the three baskets. Basically, there are two types of cooking baskets. One-piece baskets, like in the turbo and the dual blaze. These are the two different systems. And then there's the two-part system, like with the Corsori 5.5, the key difference here is that with the two-part system, we actually detach the basket from the pan itself. Whereas in the single-part system, it includes only trays. From what I've experienced, I can honestly say that two-part systems cook food somewhat more evenly, but you should be cautious during cleaning, they can really get on your last nerve. Because you just have more to clean. There are simply too many corners, edges and slots that are hard to reach. The single piece with the insert plate, on the other hand, offers a much smoother surface and is much easier to clean. A true blessing for the lazy among us. Another important aspect that could influence the purchase decision would be the area you could use. I'll measure all the baskets now and display the results above. Additionally, we're doing the ultimate chicken wings test. Which basket holds the most chicken wings? Here we first loaded the shelves, 5.5. Just one layer, so the chicken wings don't overlap and the air circulates well, ensuring everything cooks evenly. And when you distribute it with that in mind, then you can fit 15 pieces in here, as you can see. Can you see that? Let's move on to the dual blaze. It offers a little bit more surface area. We've already managed to fit 16 pieces in here without it getting too tight. Though one more chicken wing or less doesn't really make a big difference. You won't feed an unexpected visitor with that either. Then we have the Turbo Blaze Steam Basket here. Just like with the Dual Blaze, you get 16 pieces. It's up to you to decide if you want to add a 17th one. Squeeze in between or if you would be satisfied with 16 chicken wings. Dogchen. There's also some space here, nice and relaxed, for the air to circulate. 16, 16, 15 pieces, so basically the same. Then we move on to our ultimate practical test. I'll begin by testing all three with a small batch of fries, ensuring not to fill the basket entirely, aiming for about two servings. Following a long and stressful workday, you just really want to quickly prepare some fries without having to constantly stand watch over them. Perfect for our test. 
After that, we will fill all the baskets completely and I will turn the food in every device simultaneously, even though the Dual Blaze advertises that there's no need to manage the food like that. We want to discover which fryer delivers the best results. And because it's so nice, I'll also make fish sticks. They perfectly show how evenly the deep fryers work. Fish sticks are ideal for testing, as you can clearly see when something becomes uneven. We use the same settings for every device. This way, we can perfectly compare the power consumption with my smart plug and the volume with a decibel meter. Don't worry, I'll show the measurement results later. I don't want to bore you with numbers right now. All right, let's embark on our fries and fish stick adventure together. Round one of the very first practical fries test. We're going to set all three devices to the same settings for. 14 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius. Ah, that's almost too much. We have now set up all of the fryers. 180 degrees, 14 minutes. And how even. Let's start all three. One, two, and three. Practice test round one completed. The Turbo Blaze received an allotted time of 14 minutes in total, and regarding both the Dual Blaze and the 5.5, they were each given an extra two minutes since the results were still not fully prepared for review yet. I'll show you now what it looks like. There are also a few small brown spots here and there already. Here with the um, Dual Blaze, everything looks absolutely fantastic, and it's even better now compared to how it was before. Turbo Blaze due to the second heating element. Therefore, with the Turbo Blaze, I was genuinely most satisfied indeed, because it consistently delivered perfect cooking results in exactly just 14 minutes. The others are good too, but as I said, they take two minutes more. I'll plate them up again so you can see better. From my perspective, all three results are quite good and pretty similar. The Dual Blaze doesn't have any. Significant advantage from the second heating element. Sure, I must say. They all taste the same. And for round two, I will now fill all the fryers with a double portion of fries. So we can see the results when the cooking basket is a bit fuller. Be right back. I'll quickly give you a look at how full I've made these baskets. Normally, I wouldn't necessarily approach it in this manner. I have a lot from yesterday. Need to get them all done at once for this test. We also want to see how the results differ for the three later. You probably wouldn't fill it up this much at home either, but you don't have to test the devices. We'll do that for you. We're doing a 180 turn again, just like last time. But instead of 14 minutes, 25. That should hopefully be enough. 180 degrees for 25 minutes. I don't know if you can see that from there, but just trust me on this. I'm beginning the process and I'll return in approximately 25 minutes. Upon my return, we will have the chance to thoroughly delve into and analyze the outcome of those 25 minutes, complete with a full shopping basket laid out right in front of us. I'll just show it like this for now and put it back on the plate. I have to say it doesn't look very even. A number of them are still relatively soft, while others have already reached the point of being entirely in a completely opposite state. It sounds and looks wonderful. A bit uneven in some parts, but overall already quite satisfying. I'll put that on the plate right away. And I like that the best so far. Very consistent from the Turbo Blaze. Even the lower ones have emerged. That looks really great. So now let's take a closer look with this detailed close up on a plate here. One thing that I haven't brought up until now is that the Turbo Blaze, in fact, took the entire program duration of precisely 25 minutes. Regarding the other two, we decided to extend the cooking time by an additional three minutes, as the fries didn't seem dark enough yet. Some are already a bit overdone and too dark here. I've already expressed my opinion to you. Some of them are not fully cooked and remain rather soft. As I mentioned earlier, maybe it wasn't the best idea to fill the grill chamber so completely to the top, but in general I'm quite satisfied with how the Turbo Blaze performed, especially considering the large quantity we were working with. 
That brings us to the next segment, round three, with the fish fingers being up next. The fish is nicely done. Fish sticks times three. Take a look at that. Visually, I'd say it deserves a one. A bit crispy even without using oil. That was the dual blaze. Underside 5.5, also evenly crispy brown here. I'll put that on the plate. Then maybe you can see it a bit better and cut it open once. And we're right back again. And here's how the whole setup looks live and up close. Just to be fair, I should also mention that I went ahead and turned it around once halfway through the cooking process. The same here with the dual blaze. Perfect. Juicy, still has a nice shine inside. And here as well. I don't see any obvious differences here either. In my personal opinion, all three of them turned out equally well. As an interim conclusion that I would draw, I would have to say that the Turbo Blaze appears to have a slight edge. She completed it more quickly. The results were truly impeccable. By the way, I'll also display the power consumption readings for you up here in a little while. My favorite topic, cleaning. After this test, sharing a few words on cleaning is essential. The Dual and Turbo Blaze models really don't differ much in this area. Each of the cooking baskets is dishwasher safe and has a non-stick layer. But the Kozori 5.5 liter with its two-piece cooking basket system stands out a bit. As you can see, there's grease all over the place. But no worries, I've got a handy trick. Simply use baking paper and the cleaning effort is practically reduced to almost zero. Especially with greasy fried food, I can highly recommend it to you. I'll link the appropriate parchment paper as always in the video description. Naturally, the cooking time lengthens by about two to three minutes, but your ice skating fryer will last longer and you avoid the hassle of scrubbing. A minor delay for a more convenient life and extended durability. That's a fair deal, right? Now let's move on to the conclusion. That was really fun. It's always quite challenging to decide on a winner, given that all three are in separate price ranges and have their own distinctive features. Ultimately, it truly depends on what you are specifically looking for. However, I will indeed let you know my personal favorite and which one I would opt to purchase. I don't want to keep you in suspense for long and will reveal my ranking to you right away. Drum roll, please! Taking the top spot is undeniably the Turbo Blaze. However, that applies solely when it is currently marked down to 150 euros. Normally, it costs around 170 euros, which is too expensive for me to recommend. In the test, it was the most powerful air fryer and took on average two to three minutes less than the two competitors from Cologne for all dishes. So you're saving not only time, but also money because shorter cooking times mean less electricity consumption. There was hardly anything to complain about with the practical test results. Everything was cooked evenly and nothing was burnt or too crispy. The fries were crispy outside and fluffy inside, but honestly, who doesn't love crispy fries? The handling and the design also please me very much especially the orange-white font and the versatile functions. So, that's it for this video. You'll find the product links as always below in the video description and in the comments. Don't forget to join our Facebook group and with a like and subscription, you'd really support me. Thank you and see you next time.